Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com So in this video we will be talking about how you can suppress the Chrome driver logs or I will say Chrome driver warning in Selenium web driver. So with the help of this screenshot itself you might have get, guessed that what exactly we are going to cover right now. Right? So if you have noticed recently that uh, you know in the recent releases of the Chrome drivers or the recent versions of Chrome driver that you are using you are getting this frequent warnings right so timeout receiving message from renderer so this is not actually an error guys it's just a warning from you know a Chrome driver so you can suppress this warning very easily so I'm going to show you how you can suppress this warning but first of all let me show you how you do you get this warnings so first of all let me clear the previous logs and uh, let me move everything yeah so let's go ahead and create a new package this I will say chrome warnings okay and let me create a fresh class this class I will give let's say chrome demo I can take public static void min or test ng it doesn't matter because right now the main concept that we are going to discuss is how do we suppress the warning right so go with with test ng jnet or public static void main it's up to you so let me quickly start the session so I will say system dot set property and uh, I will give the key value pair so key as we know that we have web driver dot chrome dot driver and the value is nothing but the driver so driver I already have in my this location so I will simply copy paste so I will save some time so it is in my desktop chrome driver is the driver name and now I can start web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and I'm not passing any constructor or anything here right now it is just I will start a fresh chrome session I will start any URL because for any application you will start getting this issue the moment is say google.com and let's say driver.quit fine now let me run this code and let's observe Okay, you can see Chrome session started and here we can see the Chrome session started and immediately after once the page is completely loaded it will start giving these kind of warnings so you can see this is the standard uh, I will say the info messages that you're getting that your session is starting on this port number and all but if you see this particular warnings okay if you see the log level they are the severe logs level so these are just the info okay that you uh, you can directly consume it but these are some warnings which you can suppress easily so that's quite easy guys there's a separate class exists in selenium package called chrome driver service the moment you type chrome driver service you can see this class is mainly responsible to manage the life cycle and death of a chrome driver server so the moment you use this class and if you use dot operator so you can see we have a couple of static final variable which is nothing but constant and each you know uh, variable is linked with a particular value so if you s focus on this particular property which is I will say static final variable that defines the silent output property and if you see the description it says it's a boolean system property it means we have to set either true or false that will define whether the chrome driver executable should be started in a silent mode or not so definitely we need in a silent mode so i'm going to set this property as true okay so this is the property we need to use it so how do we use it it's very easy guys you just need to say system dot set property okay so just just now we have set the properties for you know driver so i will say system dot set property let me remove this this is causing the issue so set property with the key and value pair so key as we know we are going to get from chrome driver service so I will quickly say once again chrome driver service Chrome driver service dot Chrome driver silent output property and the value that we need to set is true. Okay, 
and let me just keep at the first statement so now you will see the output and let me maximize it so that you can see in the foreground so driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize and let's run it I'm not making any you know much operations because just we want to start the Google Chrome and just we want to see and here we go you can see now we are not getting that particular warnings right this is just info logs that's fine but severe warnings you're not getting this is only one way second way if you don't want to go in this way then what is the approach see guys this chrome driver service how do you get so let me open this first of all this chrome driver class so if you see this particular class is extending one chromium driver that's a different class for the time being just focus here that this is going to call one constructor called chrome driver service dot create default service so if you open this method it is again calling a builder then again it is calling a build method and that's how you get the chrome session now interesting point if you just see this class carefully here you will find one particular public static final variable of string type where this is the key or variable name and this is the value the moment we say chrome driver service dot chrome driver silent proper output property actually we are getting this key right so if you don't want to pass this lengthy you know the variable you can directly say webdriver dot chrome dot silent output that i will show in the next uh, program now if you are comfortable with this so let's let's create another program and uh, let me simply do copy paste here and let me keep this as chrome driver without warning so this is the separate class that got created so instead of using this particular you know complete statement you can simply go ahead and copy this which is chrome driver dot sorry web driver dot chrome dot silent output come here and you just replace this with key value pair that's all and you can run as it is and you will get the same output because ultimately by doing the same thing it is just instead of passing the complete statement we copied the key and we have provided here right so there's there's so many ways to suppress this warning so if you remember one of the video where we discussed how you can export the logs right uh, from chrome and firefox if you don't want to suppress you want to directly dump all these silent properties or silent logs into some other property file or text file or any other kind of file you can also dump it so that video I will link in the description in case if you are interested to see that particular log part please go ahead and watch that video. So that's a very quick video I hope you will implement because sometimes this you know warnings will hide the some additional information or the you know the sysout statement that you are writing for debugging purpose so that might get overlap or it might get you know uh, hidden in these logs so, so generally I try to avoid the silent output so I hope you can implement the same in your framework so if you still have this kind of log issue or any other query let me know in the comment section and uh, if this is helping you then please share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye